All right, we are live. You can give it a minute or so and start whenever uh, you like. Also, please mute uh, YouTube if you happen to have it open. Good morning. This morning we have the opportunity to celebrate the achievements of our ninth and 10th graders in our annual high school award ceremony for the ninth and 10th grade. I wanna welcome you this morning and I want to say thank you to all the faculty who've joined us to be able to present these awards. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and uh, we will go through the awards for the ninth and 10th grade and then pause before the 11th grade ceremony. Hello, uh, this award is for innovation, awarded to a student for in innovating and creating something new from what he or she knows. The ninth grade awardees are Andrew Doyle, Jack Evans, Ian Gangenworth, Remy Mellenhoff, and Arna Palyadov. And the 10th grade awardees are Elizabeth Burnell, Chloe Lee, Teresa Marcola, Sydney Tuck, and Patrick Wu. Critical thinking, awarded to a student for thinking critically, gaining understanding, and having the courage to change his or her mind. The ninth grade awardees are Wilder Burgeon, Eleanor Clifford, Jeremy Freeman, Timothy Lockwood, Remy Mellinghoff, Arna Polidov, Alex Rice. And for 10th grade, Elizabeth Brunel, Bridget Finley, Bethany Lee, Donna Napolitano. Hi, and for the Literacy Award, we have um, awarded for a student for finding his or her own voice, communicating clearly, and leading passionately with persistence. For the ninth grade, we have Jacob, Jacob Berman, Thomas Harity, Jack Martin, and Zaya Muller. For the 10th grade, we have William Warman, Peter Kakilat, Caroline Urcha, Lucy Clark, and Bethany Lee. The Engaged Citizenship Award is awarded to a student who collaborates and serves and engages the world to make it a better place. The ninth grade recipients are Lucy Curran, John Henningsen, Sean McGrath, Manola Rodenbush, and the 10th grade recipients are William Bornman, Rory Denning, Simon DeGraff Rubio, Julia Reich, and Aiden Solomersky. This year, students received war awards on the National Latin Exam for grade nine. Gold awards, summa cum laude to Remy Mellinghoff and Nick Hood. Silver medals, maxima cum laude to Lily Crystal, Brooke K, Lu Fei Sung, and Dallas Agnew. Magna Cum Laude Awards to Henry Planet, John Rizzo, Annabelle Thurston, James Sondy, Jack Perry, Albert Van Ness, Ava Di Clemente, and Ian Gegenworth. And Cum Laude Certificates to Addie St. Philip, Sophia McCarthy, Jake Berman, Anastasia Richard, Caitlin Petty, and Montgomery Duby. The National Latin Exam Awards in 10th grade are 
for silver, Maxima Cum Laude, silver medal, Isaiah Weir, Kelly Blagia, Patrick Wu, Alice Branca, and Teresa Marcola. Magna Cum Laude Awards to Lucy Clark, Rory Denning, Ashley Weddy, Edward Phillips, and Patrick Graytrix. And Cum Laude to Paul Hadulik. Congratulations. I'm proud to announce the following ninth and 10th graders um, who earned the distinction of gold, bronze, or mention d'honneur on this year's national French exam. In ninth grade at the level 2A, Isabella Fenner received gold, bronze, Arna Palyadev. And mention d'honneur, we have Wilder Bergen, Rachel Conniff, Jeremy Freeman, Sophie Hartman, Hope Hirschberg. Alexandra Holbert, Beatrice McLean, Helen O'Neill, and Jamie Valdez. In 10th grade at level 3A, we have gold, Erin Foley, bronze, Megan Hauser, and Fiona Vale. The mention d'honneur goes to Elizabeth Burnell, Alexandra Dessart, Natalie Gunter, Benjamin Hackett, Bethany Lee, Maya Madhavan and Carmen Phillips. At the level 5C, which is the highest level of the National French exam, we have a mention d'honneur that goes to Rowan Barr. So congratulations. The National School Orchestra Award is presented in recognition of leadership and excellence in the performance of orchestral and chamber music. It is my pleasure to present this award to Patrick Wu. The Oscar Day Williams Award recognizes the students who have shown outstanding effort and progress in the field of mathematics during the ninth and 10th grade. Our awardees are Alex Coopersmith, Arna Palyadov, and Molly Stoltz. Congratulations. The Award for Excellence in Online Learning recognizes a student for outstanding achievement in the online environment. This is awarded by OC21, a consortium of schools in Westchester providing online courses. All students participating in online courses within OC21 from schools throughout Westchester are eligible. This year, a Bronxville High School student was awarded for her achievement, Eliza Brennan. Thank you for joining us for the ninth and 10th grade awards ceremony. I'm going to encourage you to continue to view the ceremonies as we move on to the 11th and 12th grade and the all school awards as they really uh, give you a sense of the tremendous achievement of our students this year and for our 9th and 10th graders give you the opportunity to look forward to um, some of the ways that you may be honored in the future based on your work so we will begin that ceremony in approximately five minutes at 10 15. thank you
Good morning. Welcome to the Bronxville High School Awards Ceremony 11th grade awards. Uh, welcome to all of the people just joining us and I hope some of the ninth grade students and families are continuing to watch. Uh, we concluded that ceremony about five minutes ago. I want to thank all of the faculty who are joining us this morning to help present these awards to our 11th graders who've done an outstanding job this year. So we will begin and um, at the conclusion I will Depending on the time, we, we may need to wait for the 12th grade ceremony to begin. So thank you for joining us. Here we go. Innovation. This is awarded to students for innovating and creating something new from what he or she knows. The awardees this year are Patrick Bird, George Darr, Annabelle Kraus, Isabel Overby, Earl Gretzinger, Ariane Wartell. Critical thinking. This is awarded to students for thinking critically, gaining understanding, and having the courage to change his or her mind. The awardees this year are Timothy Ackeson, Liam Herity, Tor Nasuke Azawa, Jessica Sandi, Kelly Weald, Avery Wyden, and Amir Yagabi. Leadership is awarded to a student for finding his or her voice, communicating clearly, and leading passionately with persistence. This year's awardees are Timothy Atkinson, Megan Barker, Katie Fermato, Liam Herity, Annabelle Kraus, Henry Sheehan, and Kelly Weald. Hi, um, this award is for engaged citizenship. Uh, this is awarded to a student who collaborates and serves and engages the world to make it a better place. Tim, Timothy Atkinson, Liam Herity, Annabelle Krause, Nathaniel Kim, Skylar Martin, Emily Plaza, Artemis Radek, and Michael Randall. The Leonard Bernstein Orchestra Award is presented in recognition of excellence in both musical performance and musical composition. It is my pleasure to present this award to Patrick Bird. Art Department Awards. The Spencer Memorial Art Award is awarded in memory of Edward Hathaway Spencer, given by his family, Mr. and Mrs. Francis Flannery. Mr. Spencer served the Bronxville community as a school board member and community servant. He was also an avid art enthusiast. This award is presented to a student demonstrating energy, tireless effort, passion, and talent. Ta-da, Olivia O'Keefe, congratulations. Good morning. Um, so for the national French exam, I am proud to announce that the following 11th grade students um, at the level 4C received a mention d'honneur. Isabel Overby, Torina Soko Osawa, Eve Sullivan and Ariane Wartell, CDC testing. This year, students in the 11th grade received awards in the National Latin Exam. The silver medal, Maxima Cum Laude, was awarded to Annabelle Krauss and Liam Herity. Magna Cum Laude to Rachel Roberts and George Darr and cum laude to Peter Curran.
The Lucy Massey Memorial Award is presented in memory of Lucy Massey, who taught French in Bronxville from 1957 to 1972. She held a PhD from La Sorbonne in Paris and was chairperson of the Foreign Language Department throughout her tenure. She was a demanding teacher with a keen interest in the French language, literature, and culture. This award recognizes an outstanding student in his or her junior year who demonstrates superior achievement, genuine interest, and appreciation for the study of French language and culture. This year's awardee goes to Isabel Overby. Felicitations. The John Zittick Memorial Award is an achievement award in Latin presented in memory of John Zittick, a Latin teacher at the Bronxville School. John began his career as a Latin teacher and also served as an assistant principal and acting elementary school principal during his 20 years in the Bronxville School. This award is presented in remembrance of his outstanding teaching ability and dedication to all of his Latin students. This year's awardee is Annabelle Krauss. Congratulations. The Miguel de Cervantes Award is an award given by members of the community to recognize superior achievement, genuine interest, and an appreciation for the study of Spanish language and culture. This year's awardee is Kelly Wields. Felicidades. Uh, the Rensselaer Mathematics and Science Award is given to a junior who demonstrates potential success in science or technology-oriented profession. Congratulations to Liram Harity. The George Washington School of Engineering and Applied Science Medal is awarded to a junior who has obtained the highest grade point average in the fields of mathematics and science. This year's award goes to George Dahl. The Bernice Orshansky Award has been donated by the family and friends of Bernice Orshansky in recognition of the outstanding role she played for over 20 years as a mathematics teacher in the Bronxville School. Ms. Orshansky was able to develop character, knowledge, and appreciation of mathematics in her students. The award is presented to 11th grade students who successfully completed the 11th year mathematics course and who have demonstrated appreciation and understanding of that level of math by exhibiting perseverance and acceptance of responsibility for their education. Congratulations to this year's awardees, Nathaniel Kim and Jessica Sandi. And now we will begin presenting the College and University Book Awards. Bowdoin College Book Award is for extraordinary service to the common good and unusual passion for inquiry, discovery, and innovative thinking. Congratulations, Kelly Wield. Brown University Book Award is given by the college's Alumni Association to a junior selected for outstanding personal qualities and a high degree of academic performance in English expression, both written and spoken. Congratulations to Eve Sullivan. The Colorado School of Mines Award is intended to recognize an outstanding student in math and science and encourage him or her to consider an engineering career. This year's award goes to J.P. Swenson.
The Dartmouth Club Book Award is given to two juniors who best demonstrate academic excellence. This year's awardees are Earl Gritzinger and Mimi Zanatos. The George Washington Book Award recognizes a high school junior who embodies the GW drive and spirit of academic excellence, leadership, diversity of thought and ability to put knowledge into action. This year's book award goes to Caitlin McBride. The Harvard Book Prize is sponsored by Harvard Radcliffe Club of Westchester and the Harvard Alumni Association. The award is given to a junior who combines excellence and scholarship and high character with achievement in other fields. This year's winner is Avery Wyden. The Johns Hopkins Book Award is given to a junior who best exhibits the qualities and characteristics that form the core of the Johns Hopkins ethic, a demonstrated desire for intellectual and moral growth, an uncommon interest in and capacity for independent and original scholarship, and the strength of character necessary to employ the results of their scholarship for the betterment of society. This year's awardee is Ashley Toll. The Princeton Alumni Club Award is presented to a junior who is at the top of his or her class academically and demonstrates both intellectual leadership and strong character. The student also best exemplifies the spirit behind Princeton's motto, in the nation's service and in the service of all humanity. Congratulations to Annabelle Krauss. The Rhodes College Book Award is presented for exemplary community service coupled with a commitment to leadership and helping others. This year's recipient is Patrick Bird. Congratulations. The Sage College Book Award is presented to two exceptional juniors who have shown remarkable commitment to and achievement in one or more areas of the liberal arts. And the winners are Megan Barker and Amy Yu. Congratulations. The Smith College Book Award is for academic excellence with a commitment to community service. This year's awardee is Elizabeth Marshall. The St. Lawrence University Book Awards to a junior who has displayed a significant commitment to community service. The awardee is Jack Pagano. Congratulations, Jack. St. Michael's College Book Award is presented to a junior demonstrating achievement in academics with a commitment to community service. Congratulations to Ava Chang and Maya Brinsta. The Swarthmore Book Award for intellectual curiosity and a genuine enthusiasm for learning, a deep sense of ethical and social concern as demonstrated by civic engagement and generosity toward others, open-mindedness and an appreciation for difference as a learning opportunity, a willingness to collaborate with others to creatively and proactively solve problems and seek help when needed. This year's recipient is Holden Davico. The University of Pennsylvania Book Award is given through its alumni association to a high school junior who best exemplifies the qualities and characteristics of Penn's founder, Benjamin Franklin, a scholar, innovator, and community servant. This year's award goes to Michael Randall. Congratulations.
The University of Rochester awards the Bausch and Lomb Honorary Science Award to a junior with high achievement and rigor in science classes, high math scores, and a positive contribution to the school. This year's award goes to Lainey Neild. Congratulations. Actions in strong grades and rigorous courses taken in humanities and social sciences. The awardee, Emily Plaza. Congratulations, Emily. University of Rochester, George Eastman Young Leaders Award for strong leadership experience at school and in the community, high grades and challenging courses and extensive involvement in extracurricular activities. The awardee is Mariana Apostolatus. Congratulations. The University of Rochester's Xerox Award for Innovation and in Information Technology is presented to a junior with a strong interest in innovation and or information technology and a high level of achievement in this area. This student has had exposure to new technologies outside of school, such as pursuing serious work opportunities in local laboratories or industry. This year's awardee is Artemis A.J. Raddick. Congratulations. Weld College's 21st Century Leadership Award recognizes spirit, integrity, and intellectual qualities of a strong leader. This year's awardees are Maeve Sullivan and Alana Thompson. Congratulations, ladies. It's my pleasure to present the Wellesley and Westchester Alumni Club Book Award, which is presented to a junior of exceptional academic achievement, character, and contributions to extracurricular and community life. This year's awardee is Jessica Sandi. Congratulations. The Williams College Book Award presented to the junior who has demonstrated intellectual leadership and has made significant contributions to the school. The awardee is Caroline Palermo. Congratulations, Caroline. The College of William and Mary Book Award is presented to the junior who has demonstrated leadership in the classroom, including strong academic achievement, as well as leadership in the school. The awardee is Victoria Ruval. Congratulations. Tulane presents a book award to a junior who has demonstrated excellence in academics, leadership, and public community service. This year's awardee is Catherine Saluti. Congratulations, Kate. The Yale Book Award is given to a junior who best demonstrates academic excellence combined with an enthusiasm and spirit in contributing to the extracurricular life of the school. This year's awardee is Tim Ackeson. Congratulations, Tim. Thank you for joining us for the 11th grade award ceremony. We will begin the 12th grade award ceremony in about 10 minutes at 1045. I hope that the 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students and families are able to continue to join us. We have a variety of awards in the 12th grade that recognize some fantastic achievements. So we hope you're able to continue to view. We will see you at 1045.
Good morning. Welcome to the 12th grade award ceremony of Bronxville High School today, June 8th. We're so happy to be able to honor the class of 2020 with our annual award ceremony, although we're in a slightly different format. Many of your teachers have joined us this morning to be able to present to you a variety of awards that recognize your academic, extracurricular, and community service achievements. So I hope you're able to join us for the entire ceremony. Following this 12th grade ceremony, we will have the all school award ceremony and I encourage you to stay for that as well. And at the end, we will have the yearbook dedication as well as two short videos that I think you will all appreciate. So please be sure to continue to join us this morning. Now we will begin the 12th grade award ceremony. Innovation. This award goes to students for innovating and creating something new from what he or she knows. This year's awardees are Michael Burstein, Joseph Dar, Sean Eigendorf, Emma Estes, and Victoria Vigorito. Congratulations. Uh, first, I'd like to say congratulations to the entire senior class. You guys were great. Critical thinking is awarded to a student for thinking critically, gaining understanding, and having the courage to change his or her mind. The awardees are uh, uh, just Justin Barr, Michael Burstein, Bruce or Emma Estes, Christopher Hutchins, Jean Clurfeld, Brian Lee, and Claire Rich. Congratulations! Congratulations! Leadership awarded to a student for finding his or her voice, communicating clearly, and leading passionately with persistence. The awardees are Joanna Bishop, Jackie Kokolet, James Ferguson, Grace McSherry, and Sabrina Mellenhoff. Congratulations. The Engaged Citizenship Award is awarded to students who collaborate and serve and engage the world to make it a better place. The awardees are James Apostolados, Jackie Cocolet, James Ferguson, Cassidy Mullen, Alice O'Connell, and Sasha Paradise. Good morning. Um, for the National French Exam, I am proud to announce that the following 12th grade students earned the distinction of silver or mention d'honneur at the highest level on this year's National French Exam. The silver medal goes to Joseph Dar. The mention d'honneur goes to Michael Greco, Haley Mullen, and Finn Seibel. Félicitations. The following students received awards on the National Latin Exam this year. Silver medal, maxima cum laude to Sabrina Mellinghoff and a magna cum laude certificate to Brian Lee. Congratulations. The National School Choral Award is given in recognition of singular merit, ability and achievement for outstanding contributions to the success of the school vocal program and for an unusual degree of loyalty, cooperation, and high achievement. I'm proud to give this award to Ali Bruno. Ms. Karkala, you'd yep, like I'm to read? Here. Sure. The Sousa Award recognizes young musicians displaying superior musicianship, leadership, dependability, loyalty, 
cooperation, and other qualities of conduct that school instrumental music programs strive to impart. The Sousa Award is the top nationwide prize in the school band field. This year's awardee goes to Joseph Dar. The Louis Armstrong Award. Louis Armstrong changed the course of jazz music through his phenomenal creativity and skill as a trumpeter, singer, and band leader. In addition to his musicianship, Armstrong was beloved for his humility, generosity, and compassion. The Louis Armstrong Award is given in recognition of excellence in the performance of musical jazz and contributions to the school's music program. This year's awardee goes to Jack Moore. Congratulations. The Joe Raposo Sing Award was initiated by Mr. Raposo's family in memory of the highly acclaimed composer. Mr. Raposo's family had lived in Bronxville with two of his children attending the Bronxville School. Mr. Raposo's contributions as a composer continue to live on as well as his memory. The awardee is chosen by the music and drama departments for outstanding achievements in both fields. This year's student talent and personal contributions make it easy to recognize a recipient of the Joseph Raposo Sing Award, Sophia Fenner. Congratulations, Sophia. The Drama Achievement Award is given in recognition of merit, ability, and achievement for outstanding contributions for the success of the school's drama program. This year's winner is Caroline Pastilla. Congratulations, Caroline. The Robert Jackson, Jackson Technical Theater Award recognizes a student who has superior commitment to the execution of the technical theater requirements of theatrical productions. It is named for Robert Jackson, the designer who gave our theater program direction. The award is in recognition of the student's time, commitment, and dedication to continued excellence in theater. I'm pleased to present this to Brian Lee. Congratulations, Brian. The Katie Welling Memorial Award is presented in memory of Katherine Welling, a 2002 Bronxville graduate. It's presented to a senior who shares Katie's love of music and her ability to brighten the lives of everyone she encountered. I'm pleased to honor Natalia Morato with the Katie Welling Award. Congratulations, Natalia. The Art Award recognizes the talent and achievement of students in the visual arts. These emerging artists not only produce high quality work, but in sharing their art, enrich the cultural life of the Bronxville community. This year's awards go to Eileen Marshall and Victoria Vigorita. The October Group Award is given for excellence in art, which has been contributed by a group of Bronxville artists known as the October Group. Each year, they honor a student who has demonstrated artistic growth and development through talent and dedication to the art discipline. This year's awardees are Emma Gear and Emily Perry. The Cynthia Grigg Frank Memorial Award honors Cynthia Grigg Frank, whose tireless energy and creativity graced Bronxville with many years of beauty, especially at graduation. It is awarded to a senior dedicated to the arts and seeking out and promoting a unique artistic vision. This year's award goes to Annabelle Maldonado. The AP Studio Art Student Artist Award is given to an outstanding senior whose vision and authentic voice has been appreciated by her classmates over the past four years. Her artistic voice is uniquely her own and an inspiration to others. She has thoughtfully and earnestly compiled a cohesive body of work this year as she explored and developed her independent thesis. This year's award goes to Emma Estes. The AP Art History Award is given to an exceptional student of AP Art History whose dedication and scholarship contributes greatly to the class. This student is observant, inquisitive, versatile, and plans to incorporate this knowledge into the future studies. Congratulations to Inez Munkenbach. The Brandt Foundation Art Award has been contributed by the Brandt Foundation, a local art research study center, which promotes education and appreciation of contemporary art and design. This student has demonstrated passion passion, energy, and scholarship in art and art history throughout high school. The recipient of this award will have the opportunity to complete an internship at the Brandt Foundation and begin pursuing a career in the arts. 
Congratulations to Alice O'Connell. The Gertrude and Warren Willis Memorial Award is presented to a senior student who has demonstrated a commitment to and an aptitude for science. The student chosen has explored the science curriculum at Bronxville with a curiosity that is to be applauded. This year's awardee is Haley Mullen. Congratulations. The John Chambers Athletic Spirit Award recognizes outstanding school spirit and athletic growth. Our former superintendent, John Chambers, was an inspiration and champion of the interscholastic program at Bronxville during his 10 years as superintendent. This year's awardees are Hannah Bishop, Grace McSherry, and Tim Murray. Congratulations. The Gregory Tidwell Award, Tidwell Award is presented in recognition of varsity athletic achievement, but also includes traits that have been passed on through Bronxville history, sincerity, honesty, and devotion to student activities. This year's awardee is Colin Dempsey. Congratulations. The Bronxville Scholar Athlete Award is presented annually to the outstanding senior athletes who by their performance, example, and influence as both scholars and competitors have done the most during their high school careers to excel in both the classroom and on the field of competition. This year's Scholar Athlete Award winners are Patrick Kristinski and Sabrina Mellinghoff. Congratulations. Dickerson Street was a past school board member and had a commitment to student participation in the competitive sports program. The street medals are awarded to the athletes who have been outstanding in interscholastic competition throughout their high school careers and have exhibited leadership and citizenship in their activities. Criteria such as all state and all American honors are considered. This is one of the highest Bronxville Athletic Achievement Awards given at this time. This year's street medal awardee winners are Eve Balsero, Hannah Bishop, Harry Charlton, Luke Dukas, Alyssa Kanganis, Liam Crawl, Sunday Lattice, Finn Seibold, and Connor Stoltz. Congratulations to all of you on all your hard work. The Ellen O'Toole Darcy Team Sports Award. This sports award goes to two sport varsity athletes who have consistently shown self-sacrifice, commitment, and teamwork in each of the sports in which they have participated, irrespective of talent, performance, or wins and losses. This award reflects the type of community and team sacrifice that every small school like ours needs in order to consistently field multiple athletic programs. This year's Ellen O'Toole Darcy awardees are Grace McSherry and Caitlin Mooney. Congratulations. Hey, 2020, congratulations. The Sportsmanship Awards. The Bronxville High School Physical Education Department proudly presents each year to two students in the senior class who demonstrate school spirit, enthusiasm towards competition, and good sportsmanship. Win or lose, these students always put forth their best effort. This year's awardees are James Ferguson and Annabelle Maldonado. Congratulations. The Courage Award. The Bronxville High School Physical Education Department's Courage Award is given to a student who demonstrates courage and exceptional perseverance while overcoming daily challenges. This year's recipient not only demonstrates courage in their personal life, but inspires and assists those around them to tackle life with enthusiasm and passion. And as a teacher, I just gotta say thank you to this year's awardee because he definitely taught me much more than I ever did him. And that's Mr. Eric Barney.
The East Chester Fire Department honors Thomas C. Villafiore with the scholarship for the student who has during the last four years exhibited a pattern of growth and development. This year's awardee is Eleanor Desar. Congratulations. The East Chester Volunteer Firefighters establishes an annual scholarship to be awarded to a Bronxville High School senior for outstanding community service. This year's awardees are Esther Devitt and Chloe Slater. The East Chester Veterans Association and Lieutenant Colonel Sam DiRienzo Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 2285 are honoring a graduating senior with a $1,000 scholarship. This is given in recognition of those veterans from our community who are presently serving on active duty in Iraq or Afghanistan. We wish to recognize their sacrifice and commitment to our country. An important characteristic of this recipient is academic excellence and the earned respect from the school and community alike. This year's recipient is Harry Villanueva. Congratulations, Harry, and thank you for all you've done. The Westchester Putnam Association of Superintendents recognizes two students from each high school for outstanding excellence. Our awardees this year are Brian Lee and Sabrina Mellinghoff. Congratulations. The Community Fund of Bronxville East Chester and Tuckahoe Scholarship Award is given to deserving students in honor of policeman Michael Frey, an East Chester policeman who was killed in the line of duty and to celebrate the work of all emergency personnel in the area, police, fire, ambulance, and other workers. This award is given in recognition of service and dedication in support of their peers in school and in the community at large. The award is to be used to help further these students' higher education. The awardees this year are Alana McGinnis, Jack Moore, and Sasha Paradise. Congratulations. The 2020 Series Scholarships for Academic Excellence are given by the New York State Education Department to students for excellence who demonstrate, who have demonstrated that and plan to attend a university in the state of New York, should they plan to attend a university in the state of New York. The recipients this year are Brian Lee, Grace McSherry, Sabrina Mellinghoff, and Emily Perry. Each year, the National Merit Scholarship Corporation honors approximately 50 students from the million plus juniors who take the PSAT exam. This year, we were proud to have nine students in the class of 2000, in, in the class, earn the distinction of commended students. This distinction is earned by demonstrating mastery of the PSAT, which was given in the fall of junior year. Our commended students this year are Justin Barr, Layla Brinster, Charlotte Cagliostro, Joe Dar, Ava Dani, Luke Freeman, Alana McGinnis, Jack Moore, Haley Mullen, Sophia Ricciarini, and Connor Stoltz. Congratulations, students. The National Merit semifinalists were chosen for outstanding performance again on that PSAT among the top level of student. This year, we had two National Merit semifinalists, Brian Lee and Sabrina Mellinghoff. The, this senior achieved the distinction of National Merit Finalist, then achieved the distinction of being awarded a National Merit Scholarship. This is Sabrina Mellinghoff. At this time, we'd like to recognize the freshman transition leaders for 1920. 
these seniors were committed to ensuring a smooth transition to high school for our ninth grade students during the first semester of the school year. We thank them for this important service which, they've, which they have contributed to the school. And I'd like to read their names now. Eve Balsero, Layla Brinster, Ali Bruno, Michael Burstein, Charlotte Cagliostro, Jackie Coquillette, Ella Crystal, Colin Dempsey, Ellie Desart, Hedy Donahue, Emma Estes, James Ferguson, Pippa Fraser, Luke Freeman, James Hennessy, Christopher Hutchins, Alisa Kanganis, Aaron Kay, Charlie Knox, PJ Krastinsky, Brian Lee, Annabelle Maldonado, Eileen Marshall, Olivia Martin, Alana McGinnis, Grace McSherry, Sabrina Mellinghoff, Phil Myers, Caitlin Mooney, Cassidy Mullen, Alice O'Connell, Sasha Paradise, Ellen Paris, Emily Perry, Isabel Phillips, Claire Rich, Dylan Ruddy, Liam Ruddy, Lisa, Elisa, Ellie Russo, excuse me, Marguerite Scotty, Theo Sperber, Amelia Srebnik, Ella Stupart, Sarah Whitney, and Cole Zucker. Thank you very much, seniors. That concludes our senior award ceremony this morning. We will begin, congratulations to all the seniors who were recognized during the ceremony for all of your hard work in the classroom, on the athletic fields, in extracurricular activities, through service to our community. Uh, we really appreciate all of your leadership this year. Class of 2020, it has not been an easy year, but you've really stepped up and, and helped us through this difficult spring, and I hope you feel appreciated and recognized. We will begin the all school awards ceremony at 1115. So we will take a break for a few moments and again, begin right around 1115. Just to remind you at the conclusion of the all school awards ceremony, the yearbook editors will be reading the yearbook dedication. Uh, we will be playing two short videos that I think everyone will appreciate. So I hope you're able to stay with us and celebrate our phenomenal students that are going to be recognized at the All School Awards Ceremony and then join us for the yearbook dedication and these highlight videos. We will see you in about seven minutes.
Now we will begin the all school award ceremony for Bronxville High School. These are the awards that recognize significant contributions to our school and community. Thank you for joining us this morning in this virtual format. Um, please stay until the end of the ceremony where the yearbook editors will read the yearbook dedication and we have a couple of highlight videos. First, I'd like to begin by sharing with you the results from our recent grade level and athletic council and student faculty legislature elections. These will be the students who will hold leadership roles next year. So we look forward to their work to um, bring the school, continue to lead the school forward. For our sophomore class leaders, the following students have been elected. For president, we have Ted Harity, Vice President, Savannah Deli Coley. Treasurer, Chris Patterson. And for our SFL representatives, we have Molly Bishop and Andrew Doyle. I wanna remind any student who has run for any of these positions who may not have been elected that there are a lot of leadership opportunities within the organization you may have run for, but also throughout the school. So please don't be discouraged. Make sure you get involved next year. Our junior class leaders, president, we have Aaron Foley, vice president, Carmen Phillips, treasurer, Isabella Horvers, secretary, Teresa Marcola, and SFL representatives, Spencer McCormick, and Shea Sipple. Senior class leadership, president, we have Tim Atkison, vice president, JP Swenson, treasurer, John Moynihan, and SFL representatives, Isabel Kennedy and Amy Shu. And now Mr. Vaglika will review the athletic council leadership. Thank you, Ms. Meyer, and good morning. I'm very pleased to speak ab about the elected officials for the Athletic Council leadership, and there's no work done at Bronxville that I enjoy more than working with the Athletic Council, and I think that's a specific, the re and the reason for that is the work that I do with the student athletes. This year's presidents are Katie McBride and Connor Randall. Vice presidents are Lainey Neald and Luke Sheehan. The treasurer is Kiki Torme. The secretary is Bridget Finley. The philanthropy chair is Henry Sheehan. The spirit event chair is Lily Jabegian. The special events coordinators are Katie Fermato and Macklin Petty. Our sophomore grade level representatives are Charlie Clifford, Ellie Clifford, Graydon O'Keefe, Montgomery Dubay, and Olivia Shinsato. And our junior grade level representative is Preston Mays. Congratulations. And finally, our SFL leadership, President Liam Harity, Vice President Peter Cocolet, and Secretary Avery Wyden. Again, congratulations <coughs> to all our elected student leaders. We look forward to our work with you in the fall. The Attorney General Triple C Award recognizes character, courage, and commitment. The winners are Emma Estes and Annabelle Maldonado. Congratulations. The New York State Assemblywoman Amy Pollan Leadership Award is given to a senior who has exhibited leadership in either journalism, speech and debate, student government, or another civic-minded club. This year's awardee is Michael Burstein. The New York State Senator Shelley Mayer Award given to a senior who has been involved in the community through the school. The winner is Molly Denning. <laughs> 
Congratulations, Molly. The Bronxville Rotary Club is honoring two students who have exemplified their motto of service above self. The Arthur Miller Award recipient is Harry Villanueva. The Robert W. McGrath Award recipient is Emily Perry. Congratulations. The Daughters of the American Revolution, Anne Hutchinson Chapter Youth Citizenship Award presents good citizenship medals to students who by their personal acts and attitudes have proven most outstanding citizens and represent values embraced by Anne Hutchinson, such as respect for value, diversity, and the promotion of the democratic spirit of freedom of thought. This year's recipients are Jackie Kokolet and Patrick Kustinski. Congratulations. The Jean Calvert Gary Democratic Committee Award is presented on behalf of the Bronxville Democratic Committee to a senior who has demonstrated character and integrity. The recipient continually seeks the best in herself while seeing the best in others and has shown a commitment to community service. The recipient's generosity of spirit sets an example for us all. This year's recipient is Alice O'Connell. Congratulations, Alice. The Janssen Hospice Palliative Care William Bunker Snyder Memorial Award is given in recognition of Mr. Snyder's exemplary commitment to the Janssen Memorial Hospice. He was described as a quiet, compassionate man. His sense of humor and genuine love for mankind was demonstrated through his tireless efforts as a community servant. We are pleased to join the Janssen Hospice in honoring one of our students who demonstrates exemplary compassion and service to others. The recipient of the Janssen Hospice Award is James Ferguson. Congratulations, James. You have been blessed with a first rate education. Economic disadvantages have made the educational process look quite different for our neighbors in Mount Vernon. Imagine a student who strives to be the first in the family to go to college, loves to learn and seeks opportunities to improve despite the lack of access to tools that are easily accessible to neighbors with a slightly different zip code. Then imagine your own classmates at Bronxville High School as ninth graders walking to Mount Vernon High School twice a week, rain or shine, to sit side by side with students, sometimes far older than they, in desperate need of passing a Regents exam to graduate. Since 2016, these two outstanding young men have done just that for student athletes in Destination College's peer-to-peer -peer tutor program. With tremendous patience and tenacity, seniors Michael Greco and Brian Lee have helped countless students pass those exams and tackle numerous subjects while simultaneously rebuilding academic confidence. Destination College has been fortunate to have had Michael and Brian's brain power and compassion for the past four years. They will be greatly missed, but we know they will use their generous spirit and talents wherever life takes them always in support of others. Congratulations, Michael Greco and Brian Lee on your selections for Destination College's Outstanding Peer Tutor Award. The Virginia Landis Award is presented to the female athlete who displays athletic skill, sportsmanship and leadership during their participation in interscholastic competition. This year's Landis Award winner is Hannah Bishop. Congratulations, Hannah. The Lou Brinsmaid Award is presented to the male athlete who displays athletic skill, sportsmanship, and leadership during participation in interscholastic competition. This year's Lou Brinsmaid Award winner 
is William Flanagan. Congratulations, Will. The Kevin Brooks. The Kevin Brooks Copland Prize in Creative Writing is awarded to the Bronxville High School student judged to have written the finest work of creative prose or poetry in that academic year. The prize was established in 2018 and endowed by members of the class of 1969 to honor their departed classmate, Kevin Brooks Coughlin. And the awardee is Olivia Sabasco. The Congrats, Olivia. The Karina De Stefano 2017 Opportunity Scholarship Award is in honor of Karina De Stefano, who was a counselor here in Bronxville from 1966 to 1981. Prior to her death in 2007, she endowed a scholarship for deserving Bronxville High School graduates to pursue higher education at a public university in New York State. This award is presented to a senior who is dedicated to helping others and committed to academic life. And the awardee is James Apostolatos. Congratulations, James. The Jack Murray Memorial Award is in honor of Jack Murray, a gentleman and educator at Bronxville schools for over 50 years, and honors a student who displays fairness and friendship with grace and dignity. This year's award goes to Jack Homeyer. Congratulations, Jack. No one deserves it more than you. The David, and, the David and Giles Memorial Award. The class of 1970 presents this annual award in memory of David and Giles to a sophomore boy. The award recipient strives to improve athletically and scholastically. It is the dedication to become a better athlete through hard work and effort that characterizes the winner of this honor. This year's awardee is Peter Kokolet. Congratulations, Peter. The family of the late Francis and H. Maurice Darling has established an annual book award prize for a sophomore student of the school in memory of their parents who took an active committed interest in the school during their many years of residence here in Bronxville. The award is presented to a student who combines an outstanding academic record in world history and shows a genuine interest toward issues of present day peace. The awardee this year is Olivia Savasco. Congratulations, <laughs> Olivia. S. James Block Award is a scholarship that was established by the family of Mr. S. James Block in honor of their husband and father, S. James Block. Mr. Block was a teacher in the Bronxville School District for many years, serving as the chair of the business department. Mr. Block was also heavily involved in student organizations during his tenure in the Bronxville school system. The award is being presented to students who have shown school spirit, sportsmanship, and respect for teachers and peers. The awardees are Eileen Marshall and Amelius Rebnik. Congratulations. Hi, it's an extreme pleasure and honor to be here today. I just simply wish we were doing this all in the auditorium. The Bronxville Teachers Association is proud to present the Meg Connors Scholarship Award. This award honors the memory of Margaret Meg Connors, a graduate of the Bronxville School. The award is given to two Bronxville seniors who have demonstrated academic achievement consistent with their, consistent with their ability and who have displayed responsible citizenship to the school and to the entire community. This year, we have chosen to honor two students who have challenged themselves and have been most assiduous in meeting the responsibilities of service and good citizenship to the school. We are very proud to present James Apostolatos and Olivia Martin. Congratulations to the two of you. On behalf of all your K through 12 teachers in your career at the Bronxville School, we sincerely wish the class of 2020 much success and we will certainly miss you all.
The Wendy Room Memorial Award. The Wendy Sturges Room Theater Arts Award is given in memory of Wendy Room, a member of the Bronxville class of 1993. Wendy loved theater, music, and the arts. She performed in every theatrical production and choral concert during her high school years. In college, she was a member of Student Run Dramatic Society, which produced their own shows. When she moved to New York, she joined a large musical theater group where she was actively involved in all aspects of the organization, including stage management, set construction, program design, and member of the board of directors. This award is given to a junior in recognition of commitment to and excellence in theater arts. I'm pleased to award this to Olivia Kniff. Congratulations, Olivia. The Budinger Family Memorial Award is given to a student who has made contributions to the arts, both in the classroom and through extracurricular activities. We are pleased to award this to Sophia Ricciarini. The W.M. Burt Memorial Award is given to two seniors who have demonstrated a dedication to academics as well as a commitment to the school. This year's awardees are Justin Barr and Claire Rich. Congratulations. The SFL Award is presented annually to the student who has served as president of the student faculty legislator. We are gonna miss Harry and his enthusiasm and I'm uh, happy to recognize his service to the school. Harry Villanueva, you did a great job this year. The Lighthouse Award is given to members of the junior class as voted on by their classmates who exemplify the school's educational ideals of enthusiasm for learning, pride of accomplishment, self-discipline, self-esteem, and consideration for the ideas and values of others, and who through selfless dedication and service to school and community during their years at Bronxville have done the most to foster those ideals in others. The Bronxville School Foundation sponsors this award to provide recognition of very deserving students and to celebrate the qualities of mind, spirit, and service that have helped to make the school and the foundation so successful. This year's awardees as voted on by their classmates are Liam Harity and Avery Wyden. Good morning and congratulations to all our student award winners, uh, as well as our student elected uh, leaders for next year. The Lewis H. Braun Superintendent's Award. This award, annual award is presented to a student who has demonstrated excellence in academics, leadership and service to the school. It honors the man who demonstrated these qualities throughout his service as superintendent of the Bronxville School from 1957 through 1976. During those years, Mr. Braun created a reputation of excellence and demonstrated a genuine love for his profession and his position. Bronxville was fortunate to have Mr. Braun serve for all those years. This year's recipient is also recognized for excellence in academics, leadership, and service to the school. It is my pleasure to present the award to Michael Greco. Congratulations. The Principal's Award is given to the members of the senior class for outstanding citizenship demonstrated through high ideals, 
high standards of conduct and contributions to the life of the school. This year, I'm pleased to, pre to present this award to two of our students in the class of 2020. They are Brian Lee and Sabrina Mellinghoff. Congratulations. And now I would like to invite the editors of the yearbook, Annabelle Maldonado and Emma Estes, to read this year's yearbook dedication. Hi, so uh, I'm Annabelle Maldonado and me and Emma are both the presidents of the yearbook and we had a great time this year. Um, so this year we're dedicating the yearbook to Karen Peterson. Uh, I'll just go ahead and read it. So in a recent newspaper article, Karen Peterson was described as a rare athletic director who treated every sport as equal and upgraded facilities throughout her 22 year tenure at Bronxville. Karen has an impressive resume that includes leading programs and coaching at division one and three college levels. While the director at the, um, at Bronxville, multiple sports have won section and state championships, something that's very unheard of for most small schools. Uh, and many coaches and athletes would say this all because of Karen Peterson. And now we have some quotes that we would like to share um, from Ann Maya. She says, at the heart of all that Karen does are kids. She keeps our students at the center of every decision she makes, whether it is about how to partner with other districts to create a joint team so that a few of our students can play their favorite sport or how she will organize practices to accommodate our full teams on the smallest piece of practice space in Westchester County. And we don't have lights to extend practice time. Her number one priority is to provide our students with every opportunity to play and be successful in athletics. She is funny, friendly, caring, and thoughtful in everything she does. We will never be able to replace Karen. She is one of a kind. And from Anthony Vaglica, he says, uh, what strikes me most is the way she builds relationships with everyone and through those relationships builds a shared culture at Bronxville. She's the one constant, anyone can lean on her. It's where our success comes from. From Tim Murray, I had the privilege of working with Miss Peterson as a part of the Athletic Council these last four years and have learned a great deal from her. She kept Bronco, Bronco Athletics thriving and I'm thankful I got to know her well. Thank you for everything, Miss Peterson. And from Grace McSherry, she says, Miss Peterson has done so much for our school and community. Her incredible, strong school spirit and support for the athletes is what makes Bronxville sports so special. And finally, from Hannah Bishop, Miss Peterson is the Ung Sun hero of Bronxville Athletics. Her endless support and dedication to our program has made my four years as a, Bronx, as a Bronco truly incredible. I am so thankful and lucky to have worked with her through Athletic Council, and I will not forget all the valuable lessons she has taught me. Congratulations, Miss Peterson. Congratulations, and thank you. Thank you, Emma and Annabelle. And now we actually have a highlight video. This is not the full video because the video was too long to play during this ceremony, but it's a highlight video for Karen Peterson on her retirement. Karen, you will receive the full video, but we just wanted to share some of the well wishes that are coming your way. Karen Peterson. Hey Karen, Stephanie, TikTok Steph Steffi Clock. Hey Karen. Wow, where do I begin? There's so many things to say. This is Cindy, the Callahans have been missing you. Hi Miss Peterson, congratulations on your retirement. I just wanted to say congratulations on your many years at Bronxville. The leader of all things Broncos and all things blue and gray. Karen, you will be greatly missed by all of us. We're gonna miss you so much. You have such a positive way with everyone and you always make us laugh. Thanks, thanks for all you do. You were always on the extra mile with me and I really appreciate it. That's KP. Thanks for all your hard work. Go Broncos! Woo! Hey, hey, kind, 
awesome, R, remarkable, E, extraordinary, N, noteworthy. I'll miss you, Karen. Happy retirement. Just want to say congratulations on a well-deserved retirement. Thank you for everything you've done for our basketball program, but more importantly, for all of our student athletes here at Bronxville. Just wanted to wish you all the best and congratulate you on all your successful years at Bronxville. I miss you, and I wish you a wonderful retirement. You've earned it. You deserve it. You're a great person. Happy retirement. Enjoy retirement. It's a great thing, and I'm sure you'll know how to spend the time wisely. Stay well. Fun. Thank, Thank you, Miss Peterson. We're so grateful to have worked with you, and we'd all like to say thank you, thank and we will you, miss you. We will miss you. Will miss you. Me. Well. Miss. You. Next. Here. Go. Broncos. Woo! <laughs> Go, Go Broncos! And good luck with your retirement. We will truly miss you. Bye-bye, Karen. We miss you a lot. Happy Wish you the best of luck in your retirement. Everyone who comes in contact with you is lucky. We're going to miss you terribly. Wish you all the best and I hope to see you soon. Good luck to you in your retirement. Stay healthy, happy, and safe. Good luck. Wish you the best. Stay happy and healthy. Thank you for everything you've done for me and wish you the best. And uh, I'm sure whatever you have planned, it's going to be amazing. You did a great job and congratulations. Most importantly, don't think of this as a sad time. It's just a bridge to something better. Good luck. We're going to miss you. I wish you the best, all the best of the world. I love you, Karen. Take care. Bye. And we will miss you and just thank you so much. God bless and be well. Good luck. God bless and enjoy. Thanks and congratulations, Karen. I'm jealous. Have fun. Be missed greatly and enjoy your retirement. Congratulations on a job remarkably well done. You will be sorely missed and we hope we can see you soon and do all this again in person because we all know how much you like attention. We love you, Karen. Go Broncos. It's great working with you, working for you, being with you. Had a lot of great memories. With new things, the world is changing. Enjoy your retirement. Wow. And now we're going to play uh, some faculty tributes to the class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, seniors. How did this happen so fast? Um, you have worked so hard and have so much to be proud of. I just wish I could be there to give each one of you a giant hug. Um, 
I will miss you and hope you visit often. Don't forget. To all the seniors that I was able to mentor by having them in my classes, I would like to congratulate you on taking the next step in your academic and personal lives. And I'd like to let you know that you will be missed because it has been a joy to be able to mentor you on your journey. And to those who I did not have the pleasure of mentoring in my classes, I would like to wish you a fond farewell and good luck in your future pursuits. Class of 2020, you leave Bronxville with three bones. First one, backbone. You've demonstrated resilience. You've shown the courage to say no when necessary, and you have the strength to know who you are. The second one, the wishbone. You guys are a creative group. Keep dreaming big. And the third one, the funny bone. You have a diverse set of passions. Keep attacking them with the joy and the beauty that you have the past four years. And speaking of the last four years, thank you from this health teacher for being a part of the ride. I do really appreciate each and every one of you. Peace. Congratulations class of 2020. You know, life is like a river. Sometimes you're gonna see some turbulence, but play your cards right. There is plenty of smooth water ahead. Take care, don't be a stranger, and be well. Class of 2020, congratulations. <laughs> Lots of love from the Meyer family. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck on your future endeavors. Thank you for watching Bronco TV and congratulations to the class of 2020. Signing off one last time, I'm Emma Estes. Thank you. Thank you uh, to all the faculty who've joined us today to help present the awards. Congratulations again to Ms. Peterson on your retirement. And most of all, congratulations to our students and the class of 2020. Enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs>